What's going on everybody, Rabe here, and today it is time, finally, to combine Kong Toys Thunder King into all of his glorious combined mode. We finally have all of the members here. We have Ferocious over there. We have Land Bull over there. Firmament. Uh, <laughs> King Lion. In the back is Thorilla. Finally, Huge Rhino. And then, of course, we have Desirius and Rusirius here. And we've got little little crab legs. Poison Crab, I think is his official name. Um, and I've already split him up into his hand modes here. And if you guys want to see the individual uh, robots, transformations for all of those, please check the... Uh, I, think, I think at the end of this video, I will post the playlist so you can actually see... All of these different members and their various transformations uh, so do check that out but for now we're just going to focus on the combined mode I did attach all of the added bits to the bottom of the wolves here you can see the little pads here uh, but then the added stability bits up here and here all that good stuff so we should be ready to go first things first though let's go ahead and combine the weapons uh, so, I'm going to grab the knee braces. We'll get these guys going off to the side. And then very quickly, let's get the cannon combined together here. There we go. So, we're going to take... Uh, Land Bull and or Huge Rhino's uh, guns here and Firmament's guns. And here's something you want to keep in mind. Um, the peg on Firmament's guns on the back uh, are just a little bit too big to fit into uh, into this hole. And I, I, I assume it's the paint that they add to the top of this. Um, it just makes it too tight and you risk breaking the handle. Uh, so I did end up shaving the handle down on both of these. And it seems to have worked very, very nicely. Um, so you still get a nice tight connection uh, without having to worry about breaking the weapon. So I do suggest maybe giving that a very light sanding uh, just to uh, just compensate for the paint. Uh, and we'll do that on both sides here. Just pegs right in and sits just like that. Then we're going to take Thorilla's weapon and it's got a couple of pegs here and it's it's a little counterintuitive. This is the front of the cannon. <laughs> this is the back of the cannon. It actually has like thrusters on the back of it um, and Thorilla's gun is actually going to be facing backwards. Uh, so you want to plug these two in Here, or did I do this wrong? No, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Thorilla's gun is not facing backwards. I'm a dummy. Ignore me. All right, anyway. <laughs> and we're going to attach these guys here. And I want to be careful because this is kind of a tight fit up front here. And then squeeze those together. And then we are good to go with that. And last but not least, we have Ferocious's uh, gun here, which is going to plug right into the front. Oops. Don't do it upside down, though. There we go. And then you just extend the front of the barrel. Of the cannon there and there you have the combined cannon mode and you can take this attachment piece uh, and add this on so you can attach it to uh, whoops to firmament as well and uh, that'll hold it nice and tight on the firmament's arm mode uh, so there you go there's the full cannon. You can also unpeg this 
and bring this handle down if you want to uh, have Thunder King hold it uh, just like a regular blaster. Um, but I think I prefer the, uh, the mounted version, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this attached like so. And we'll just put that right off to the side as we work on the swords. Alright, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and take King Lion, open up the axe blades here, and then grab Thorilla's hammer, and it's got a little bouncy bit here, you're just going to pop this in just like that, and lock this all together. Just like so, and it's already, uh, <laughs> it, could, it could be a sword this way, like, pokey pokey. Uh, anyway, then we're going to grab our wolf swords, and this, they are keyed to fit in specific sides. So don't worry about miscombining, because you can't really do that. So there you go. And then this, these go right in here. Just like that. And then this one slides on and combines just like that. And this guy will go whoops, on that side. And this guy goes on this side. And then they get squeezed together. And there you go the sword mode. I'm going to back this up a little bit uh, because the sword is nearly as wide as my table. That is a very large blade. Um, quite large. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. And we're going to put that off to the side as well. Now, let's get to combining these guys. So first things first, let's grab a foot. And a leg. I'm just going to go ahead and slide this on. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the toe up like that in the center. Uh, I kind of prefer that look. Um, that's just me. You guys can do whatever you want. You can have it down again. Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> All right, I just took it off the ball joint. But you can, uh, you can of course have it facing down if you prefer the three-toed look. Um, I kind of like the uh, that way. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And there's one over there. Next up, we have Huge Rhino. And this guy was a bit of a pain to combine, but there we go. Seem to have gotten them loosened up a little bit here. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that up just like so. And next, let's grab Thorilla. We got monkey pants for the win. All right. We're just going to go ahead and slide this on. There we go. And then Slide this on, just like so. And already, this thing is quite heavy. I mean, it's got to be like, I don't know, 
four or five pounds, just just the legs here. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna put the knee braces on now, just to kind of get it out of the way. So let's spread these out a little bit. Bring out the knee brace. Open it all up. Bring this in here. There we go. plug into the back and then come around the front there we are then this knee pad just clips in which can be a little can be a little troublesome sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's get this one first. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this up and just plug that right into the back here. Now I did replace the, uh, I did replace these back pins with the ones that were included with Huge Rhino and they do seem to pop in and pop out a lot easier. And this is, I'm not sure what is actually giving me a hard time here. I may not have this lined up all correctly. I mean, I think I do. That seems to be fine. There we go. Got it. All right, now we can just pop that back on. All right, other side. Second verse, you know the drill. Not gonna say it, wouldn't be prudent. All right, pop this bad boy on the side, get this down out of the way. So, get that, that, all that's locked in, lovely down. Hopefully have an easier time. There we go. Knees are in. And then this pops right in like that. And the knee braces are done. You can see his little butt cheeks. Looking great. All right. Time to get a little further away here. All right. Make sure I can, you guys can see what's going on. Um, 
one arm there. Alrighty, and there we have, hopefully he's all in camera, Thunder King, and he is, uh, he is quite large. Now, uh, before I do articulation, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do um, size comparisons, uh, just while he's kind of in a static, static sort of mode, and I'm going to kind of move him over here. He is very weighty. Uh, so first up, let's take a look at our friend with Fans Toys Grimlock. Devastator. Now this only has the first upgrade kit, not the second one that extends the thighs. Uh, I do have that uh, on the way, but you can see there's a definite height difference here. And I know this is one a lot of people were uh, wanting to see comparisons of. with Zeta Superion. So you can see while they are close in height, um, top of the head, he's, you know, he's almost a head taller uh, than this guy. Well, maybe this isn't quite uh, a... <laughs> It's not exactly a scientific instrument that I'm using here, um, but you can see uh, the top of the head comes to about his eye line. Um, so, and just the fact that he's he's so much more just beefy. Uh, he looks like he just kick him down and just rip him in half with his bare hands. So uh, that's pretty cool. Also, you can get an idea of how big the sword is now that I'm kind of waving it around. So that is a Zeta comparison. And just for the heck of it, with my big giant Godzilla, because it's fun, I guess. And last but not least, well, no, not last. <laughs> we'll do it with MP Sideswipe. You get an idea of that size. And last but not least, for real this time, Mega Constructs Kratos. Little Kratos. That's how he looks next to this guy. Okay, so... 
Let's go with the weapons and stuff really quickly. And then we'll get on to uh, articulation. So the uh, cannon, just move this out of the way. And there are a couple of spots here where you just slide it over. And you can attach the cannon right to his arm. And then he can, of course, hold the sword in his hand. There's a couple of big tabs, and his fingers are definitely definitely sturdy enough that he can hold that blade no problem. Now, on my copy. Um, I don't know how well the shoulder ratchets are going to hold, but you can hold the sword up pretty well. As you can see, like he's, he's holding that ginormous sword aloft. Um, I think firmaments are maybe a little bit... Yeah, firmaments are a little bit less strong, um, so he's got a hard time kind of keeping that cannon up, uh, but give it a little bend, and you know, a lot of the time he's going to be aiming at something that's smaller than he is anyway, so. Uh, but for the sake of articulation, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these items and put them back here, uh, just so we can kind of get... Just so it's a little easier for me, to be quite honest, because this thing is ridiculously heavy. Um, Alright, so. Articulation. Like I showed you guys, arms can, of course, go around. Uh, you can flip this panel on his shoulder up and get, like, some higher shoulder articulation in addition to the combiner peg itself, so that's cool. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel, that's very stiff. He's got a lower elbow swivel. He's got a nice deep elbow bend there. Uh, the hands, of course, can rotate. Fingers can splay out however suits you. Uh, the waist is on a Ratcheted swivel, head is on a ball joint, the mouth does open and close, uh, the eyes do light up, cannons of course can lower, uh, the wings have all the same articulation that you got when they were attached to firmament, so you can swing them in, you can close them up if you want to. Uh, display them out all kinds of crazy ways. I don't necessarily like them this splayed out. I think they actually look kind of sloppy. I like them maybe a little bit tighter. That's just my personal preference. Uh, the legs... can go out to the sides about that far. They can go forward about that far. Oh gosh, all right. The knees can bend like that. The feet do not swivel, uh, but they do have an ankle tilt. Um, 
But the bottom line is you can get a lot of really nice poses out of this guy. And uh, he just looks so, so imposing. And so awesome on display. Um, uh, but there's no, uh, there's no ab crunch of any kind, so uh, don't go looking for that because I couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, this guy was quite a, uh, quite a journey. It was a long time in the making, and frankly, I think it's it's been worth worth every step of the way. I mean, it is such a beautiful display piece. Um, I, I thought all the gold was going to turn me off, quite frankly, um, but no, it just looks, he just looks crazy menacing and intimidating, and uh, I could not be happier, to be honest with you. <laughs> if I had one uh, criticism, it's not even really a criticism, it's just that this guy is so, so heavy, um, it does make it very difficult to, uh, to kind of mess with sometimes. So he's not really going to be a uh, kind of a, a play figure so much as a uh, pose and display kind of kind of figure here. Um, and even with the even with the um, rubber pads, he is kind of sliding a little bit, probably due to the fact that there are only two rubber pads on the feet now. Um, because I use the extra parts, which kind of swap them out of the way. Um, yeah. But overall, very, very cool. Very nice figure. Um, I guess I should give you guys a uh, quick measurement here. He is just about a little over 21 inches to the top of the head and a little over 20, well just almost exactly 27 inches to the top of the cannons. Um, so Yeah, and Zeta, Zeta Superion is 19 and a half inches to the top of the head, so um, you're definitely getting some nice height there. Anyway, I am exhausted <laughs> from doing this review. Uh, I want to thank you so very much for watching. Uh, thanks to everybody that watched all of my uh, Thunder King videos. Again, the playlist will be at the end of this video. So do check that out, and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. If you, uh, if you also bought these figures, what your opinion is, uh, which one's your favorite out of the group. I think Thorilla is my favorite out of the group overall, um, but I really, I really think they did a great job with all of these guys, um, and I'm very, very happy to finally be able to uh, put this guy together. Although, I have a hard time because I do like all the figures individually. So a part of me just wants to, um, wants to display them as individual figures as well. But, yeah. So, that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so, so very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.